Hi everybody, welcome back to Dash Lab. Today we have a uh, electric heating pad that um, when you plug it in, all of a sudden now it gives you this uh, F word. It stands for f it's faulted. There must be some sort of a fault in there. And what I'm guessing at is because it's the same whether it's plugged in or not, that there's probably some sort of open circuit in here. So uh, four pins, unidirectional, like it doesn't, it doesn't, or bidirectional, really. It doesn't really matter which way you plug it in. It should still work. So, uh, being that there's a 120 volts here problem, and uh, this is not going to be a repair video. It's going to be, why did it fail? So we're going to have to start taking this apart. Maybe I'll do some ohm readings here and see if there's anything we can tell from that. Okay, so uh, just going across for pin one, one, two, one, three, one, four, two, one, maybe a diode in there, two, two, oh, wait, two, two, 40 ohms between these two, and nothing there, going back the other way, 40 ohms, okay, so between the middle two pins there's 40 ohms, but everything else seems to be open, So, now what? What do I got for a knife? Do I have an approximate knife? I think we're going to start dissecting this thing. Let's see. Okay, so I just started with the knife there, and this is coming apart real pretty like. No. Oh. Geez, there's not much to it. I don't know what I expected in there, but I kind of expected something more than that. Huh. Somewhere there's an open wire. It really is just a resistive resistor. I'm beginning to wonder. How did it know it's a fault if it's not seeing any... Now, I, I, I hate to start sticking my uh, my meter in there. All right. Auto off, stay on. Yeah, maybe maybe it's in the box here. Maybe it's something there. But this gets um, wound up and put in the drawer at night and unplugged and stuff like that. So I'm not going to see a. I wouldn't expect to see an open in the insulation here. But I think because I had had the only 40 ohms across those two. I don't, know. I don't know. Let's take a look at the box. Let's take a look inside of here. Oh, they're special screws. They're, uh, they're Bastard screws. Yeah, they're those special Bastards that uh, Ain't nothing like you we've ever seen in your normal uh, in your normal toolbox. Do I have anything like that here? It's, it's a it's a triangle like a Mercedes Benz symbol. What are the odds of me having one of those here? Probably not too good. I have more tricks up my sleeve. I do got another kit somewhere. I got a triangle. Let's see. Let's go to the other stack. Here's my other box, and there's nothing special in here. I got hex keys, more Phillips than you could ever imagine, more flatheads, uh, Allen keys, Torx, 
Robertsons and then some hollow buggers here and then uh, looks like a Torx with a hollow hole in it and then some forks but nothing I think the only other time I've seen something like this was on a on a Nintendo Wii or an Xbox or something like that Tell me that's gonna work. No. All right, I gotta see what I can do to get in there. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Uh, just a, uh, a small flathead on an angle, and I got right through those security screws. I don't know if I've ever used 61 piece bit. I don't know if I've ever used one in there. Ew. Okay, what are we doing here? Only three wires being used, so the two outside ones, huh, the two outside ones, and then this one can go either there or there, but it's interesting there was 40 ohms between the two. 40 ohms, I wonder if like a fuse blow blew. Don't lose the security screws. Wonder if a fuse blew or something because why would there you think if they're using that one unidirectionally, although it does have an arrow there, that it would be like zero ohms in there. Well there it's only got three wires on it. There's only three conductors. There's another clue. Huh, there's lots to it. We ain't trouble shooting that today. Boy, those, uh... Well, let's see this here. Let's see. Let's see what there is to see. Ding, ding. Forty-six ohms. seems high. These should be shorted, but I bet you one will be 40 ohms higher than the other one. 44. This one should, I'm hoping it should be zero. That's 44. That's weird. There must be something inside of here. open. It's open between there and there. Is there even a conductor in there? There, there is. Could it be that wire is busted? Forty ohms there. That one's okay. Forty ohms there. Why forty ohms? Because my meter leads have forty ohms on them. That's why. Why the hell is that? I've never seen that before in my life. Bad contact? I think that's what it is. Well, the meter is uh, 40 years old. Well, four ohms, that's better. Ninety six ohms, hundred fourteen. 
Okay, do it this way. 50 ohms. Man, oh man, different uh, 26 ohms. New leads. I tell you, these are going right in the garbage. Common. Black to there. Four ohms. Still not great, but better than. Okay. All right. So those will go over there for the garbage pile, and we'll use the good Huntron probes. Okay. So there's not 40 ohms there. Let's do this again. One ohm. Makes sense. One ohm. And then both of them in the middle. Either one. Putting out there. And putting out there. And between the two. Okay. So I know that at least the cable is good. Now I'm uh, a little bit reluctant to plug this in and uh, try to get any sort of a reading out of here. I still think that it's, uh, it's the actual uh, thing itself, right? See if we can figure out where that fault really is. That's what that looks like on the inside. Anything obvious? Like uh, implore radiant heating type thing? Oh, that's tough. That ain't gonna come off too easy. Get the old Proxo knife here. Oh. oh. One of those things. So it's just one great big huge series to do. Now, okay, I got it narrowed down to somewhere in this range here where I can get it to intermittently kind of come and go, but not. And I'm thinking my break is somewhere in this range right here. Okay, so let's cut this part and see if I'm right. Uh, let's uh, do one of these. Huh. 
do not. It uh, seems to be a uh, like a wound sort of. Uh, wow. Maybe I wasn't hitting it. it. Okay, it's not a solid conductor. It's something wound around something else. Interesting. So I bet you this will conduct. And maybe I just wasn't hitting the... Because uh, it was very intermittent. No. Nope. No. Nope. Not getting into the there I am, but here I'm not okay. Okay, half an hour later, uh got inside, nothing special inside of that connector. And uh Anyhow, somewhere here was a short. Heating pad failed. New one, bought, have fun. If you like what you see, go down to the nether regions over there and subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll do more of these videos. That's all I got for you this time on Das Lab. Have fun, stay safe, and don't get any on you. See you next time.